Hi guys, back with you for our final demo. This one is a little bit different because I'm gonna actually give you a multiple choice. So our first demonstration with the dry paper towel showed that air takes up space. Another way to say that is has volume. The second one showed that air has mass when the inflated balloon sank down. And then finally, the one that um, I just showed you where we had the inflated balloon and the cup stuck to it, that was definitely showing air exerts pressure. There was higher pressure air, which is like saying higher force air around it um, than in the middle of the cup. And that's why it would stay on for a time. So this time you are gonna be watching me do something that sounds kind of weird. You're gonna see me pour air. And you might be thinking, Mrs. Ficus, you can't pour air, like that sounds weird. Well, I'm about to do it. And so um, when I'm done, your question is different this time. You're gonna decide which of the three properties of air this best shows, and then you have to defend your answer. You have to tell the reason why you think it shows this property best. So again, you're choosing between air has volume, which is like saying air takes up space, air has mass, or does this best show um, that air exerts pressure, which is like saying a force. Okay, here we go. So you're gonna be able to see my bin of water now. I colored it a little bit, so hopefully you can see the pouring of the air better. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna go straight down. So what's trapped here is air. Now the next cup I'm gonna go sideways and then down. So this one's mostly full of water. Now I take my air side and nestle it up under the water side and listen and watch, you should see bubbles. I am literally pouring the air. So what you should be thinking now is does this best show that air takes up space, has mass, or exerts pressure? And by the way, you can easily try this at home if you just stop up your sink or your bathtub and uh, you can pour air for yourself. See you later.